morning guys I'm on my way to Belgium to visit a couple of customers currently driving on the A2 motorway between Amsterdam and Breukelen the weather is good so uh, I figure this will be a nice drive driving in some uh, little village called Dommelen it's uh, just next to Valkenswaard just south of Eindhoven and uh, yeah they got some industry here Dommelse Bierbrouwerij so that would be Dommels beer I guess <laughs> Somehow I've led to some touristic road, I guess, a touristic route uh, with cornfields on one side, some uh, some woodlands on the other, and um, yeah, pretty nice here, pretty uh, nice surroundings. I like it. getting smaller and smaller this is nearly a single lane now <laughs> just a little uh, shoulder here so you can pass by people in the opposing direction <laughs> and this still is the Netherlands guys I don't think it will be for much longer but <laughs> for now it still is well, I didn't expect this, but I'm at another Dutch village, Luiksgestel. So apparently, I wasn't at the border just yet. This is near Bergeijk, which is about the Dutch and Belgian border. So, yeah, shouldn't be long now. It is touristic here, don't you agree? <laughs> nice to see these uh, touristic little villages. Ah. Makes you feel a little bit like being on vacation. Even though this is just uh, a drive for work. But yeah, it still makes you feel a little bit like a vacation. <laughs> I, th I think at least. <laughs> As I'm at the Dutch and Belgian border near Lommel. As you can see, here's a sign saying Flanders, meaning I'm entering a Belgian region of Flanders. And here is the sign stating Belgium with a European logo around it. 
So yeah, now I'm in Belgium all of a sudden. Well, the slogan de Limburgers heet nu welkom is the same in the Netherlands for the province of Limburg. But this is the Belgian province of Limburg. <laughs> so anyway, uh, welcome in Belgium. Ah yes, and this is another sign we're in Belgium. Instead of cafes, we have taverns. Yep, very touristic. <laughs> so here we have a very old sign. <laughs> Could even have been manually painted. Well, uh, I guess not. But there are very old fashioned uh, images for a car and a motorcycle. Still, we can't enter here, so I guess I need to find another route. Currently at my customer and yeah, just fixed this here printer. <laughs> All that customer! One to the second customer. Uh, probably shows you guys before, but in Belgium you have a lot like these uh, ribbon villages. That are yeah situated mostly along uh, an ongoing road, so you just get to drive through it with 70 kilometers an hour instead of something like 50 because yeah it still is an ongoing road. Uh, but yeah, with houses along the side, just as if you were driving uh, yeah something more yeah village-like <laughs> basically. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's. Uh, Quite, uh, quite funny. It's very different from in the Netherlands. Uh, that's the aspect I mean of funny. Because in the Netherlands you don't have that. Well, not as much anyway. Uh, in the Netherlands, most of the villages are somewhat round or pear-shaped, pear-like shaped. But uh, not really in this uh, ribbon style. Uh, now on a Belgian motorway again. So finally I can uh, get some more speed. 120 kilometers an hour is the speed limit on Belgian motorways. Uh, just the same as on most Dutch motorways and yeah, many other European countries motorways. Leuven! The Belgian countryside between the Leuven and Brussels. Yeah. There's more uh, hills here. Well, and here we have the most uh, curious road of all I have been on today. Man, is this e yeah? It didn't say it's not for uh, car usage, but <laughs> I think it's more of a 4x4 trail than uh, than a regular road. But there are houses on this road, so there are people, uh, yeah, who need to use this road. <laughs> for always. Unbelievable. It's like a it's like a car trail or something. Man. <laughs> well I gotta give it to Ace. They do have road coverage. Like oh my god. <laughs> well at least these roads are uh, better to go on. Ah man. <laughs> Alrighty, just visited my second, second customer for today, out in the middle of nowhere, 
And now I'm rather close to Brussels. And it's time to head back to HQ. So, uh, yeah. Got a long drive ahead of me, but it will be all right, I guess. Brussels! On my way to Antwerp and then up north via Breda, Gorkum, Utrecht to Amsterdam to HQ. That's the plan. But for now, ring Brussels. Yeah, slow traffic and traffic jams on the ring Brussels, guys. But yeah, that's what you get driving during rush hour. Hmm? It's nice to see how Waze uh, shows all these traffic jams uh, on the map. Well, it's not nice that there are traffic jams, but it is nice to see Waze has uh, tracked them all. So you know what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> So, I just noticed a billboard uh, next to the road here, very large sign, stating uh, Turn your lights off whenever possible. Now that's a complete opposite from what, uh, what we get in the Netherlands, because there the billboard states Turn your lights on even it, during daylight, so whenever possible just turn your headlights on. But here in Belgium, apparently they don't like to have their headlights on and yeah, want to have them off whenever possible. So yeah, there's another difference between the Netherlands and Belgium for you. Um, of course, there is some logic behind this, as far as I can imagine. Uh, because in the Netherlands we are a completely flat country with only uh, a couple of hills and uh, one third of a mountain. <laughs> it's not even a complete mountain, we only have one third of it. Because it's uh, the three country pointed Fals, the Fals and the Berg. Um, yeah, there's not really much trouble at roads with your uh, oppo yeah, people from the opposing direction. Uh, what do you call them in traffic? Your opponents or... Uh, yeah. What would be the correct term for that? Uh, let me know in the comments. Anyway, uh, they aren't disturbed by your headlights of course, because we are a completely flat country. Uh, and here in Belgium, uh, yeah, the one half is flat and the other half is mountain-like. So yeah, I can imagine when you're, when you're driving up hills and mountains and stuff. Uh, yeah, you don't want to get blinded by your uh, yeah, your opponent's headlights. OMG! Ah, now there's a sign the Dutch border is at hand. These windmills at Meer. Yeah. Back in the Netherlands and slowly dusk is setting in. Hey guys, recognize this? It's Amsterdam! During south near Rye. And look at that nice sky. I really like them clouds. Yeah. Awesome pattern. And it's civilization! <laughs> you know where this is, guys? I'm not telling you, I'm just saying this is civilization. Look it up in one of my older videos and tell me in the comments. Hello, Chibi. Hello, Chibi. Hello, Chibi Chibi. Ooh. Well, guys, I'm back at HQ. So, uh, this is the end of today's vlog. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my road adventures. And uh, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Hey, cheerio!